Well, I'm back, and I just wanted to let you know, I actually hit on some numbers that I had picked and wrote down for South Carolina. I'm going to apologize, because I didn't put those numbers out there at first. I just uh, did not have the time. I got a new job, thank God, just in time, and I had to deal with the, I hate to say it, but the light man today, you know, they cut my power off today because they said they didn't get the money. The truth was, I had went over to the powerhouse a power plus where you pay the bill and stuck it in the depository box because I had a job to do last night and when I got off it was too late and I just dropped dirt in the deposit box well this morning when I got home from my other job I like seeing the lights was out and called them and they said well you made the power I said I put it in the depository box and then I had to drive back over there I pulled up to the drive through and I told the lady I said I dropped my money in the depository box last night. Y'all didn't get it. Y'all don't check it. She said, I don't have anything paid except what you paid the other day. And I said, it's in the depository box. I just put it in there last night. It's $140 something dollars. Well, she go over and sure enough, there it was. And I said, you going to have a last cut back on that? She said, yeah. I'm like, okay. <clears throat> I asked her again before I left. I said, you going to have a last cut back on today? She said, yeah. But she did kind of a little standoffish about it, and she didn't come to the window, so I left. I went mingling around at the flea market and then stayed there as long as I could. Came home, lights were still out. I thought they'd be back on by then. I sat here and played games on the computer in the car. I didn't even get out the car. I sat there till almost dark, went and got me something to eat. Come back, the man still ain't come. So I called the guys back at the power office, and I said, are y'all going to have my lights cut back on? It's dark and it's getting cold out here. It's going to be freezing tonight. I ain't got nowhere to go to. I can't afford no motel room. She said, yes, ma'am, they're scheduled to come out there tonight. I said, okay. Hour slipped by, nobody come. I called back. She said, ma'am, they're still coming. They're still on word night. I said, you sure? Because it's after dark and they don't usually come out after dark. She says, Yes, ma'am, they got extended hours. And sure enough, I'm sitting there. And lo and behold, in the middle of the darkness, I seen a flashlight walking up behind me. And I knew it was an angel. <laughs> and it was. And he came and he went over and cut my lights on for me. So I'm going to try to put this, this video right quick. But those are just a few numbers that I chose uh, the other day that I didn't put out there. And I hit off of it because nights draw was zero one seven I had down there that seven zero one now when y'all see my numbers I don't care in what order you play the numbers I'm talking about you know like if I get a seven what you play a seven oh uh seven one oh or one oh seven or whatever play it oh one seven just like it fell you switch up the numbers the way you want it I wrote it down the way I see it you can go and generate a number off of a computer software okay it's not going to sync to a computer at the lottery system the way they generate their numbers y'all now are the tennessee state lottery predictions I come pretty close, and I usually hit every night somewhere. It might not be here in South Carolina, but it's going to be somewhere in the United States out there. And so far, I think I've done pretty good, a pretty good job. Been playing out the same numbers now for about a week, and they're still hidden. All right, y'all, just Queen Ching Ring. Take the numbers down, and I'm out of here. Ciao.